हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई अभिनव नेगी वेलकम यू ऑल इन द सुपर एनिमेटेड सीरीज द ग्राउंड जीरो सीरीज एंड टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डीप फाउंडेशंस मेड बी बुज खलीफा मेड बी जेदा टावर इन सऊदी अरब एंड मेड बी ताज महल ऑल ऑफ दीज जेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स आर बिल्ड ऑन द डीप फाउंडेशन एंड इफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट वी आर ओनली मेकिंग डीप फाउंडेशंस when shallow foundation is not suitable because at the shallower depth the soil is not very firm not very not having high bearing capacity then only we are going to the deep foundation no you are wrong yes that is one reason when soil at the shallower depth is weak we go to the deep foundation and the second reason is when the structures is too big too giant carrying a lot of tons of load then if we make shallow foundation or if we divide that load with the permissible stress of the soil a huge amount of area is required that is not possible economically and also not possible on the basis of area available so at such cases we have to go deep foundations because in deep foundation the friction factor is also helping us how much deep we are going that much friction is there so we always use deep foundation in two cases majorly first one when the soil at the shallow depth is weak and second when a large area is required for the shallow foundation now what is the load that can be carried by a pile as you can see in the figure so qu is the ultimate load that a pile can take and that vertical downward load is resisted by from the end that is qp and from the frictions side qf suppose this is a pile so how much qu load can be acting on this the vertical load should be balanced by qp at the base the base might be at the firm surface or the hard surface so qp and at the surface it is qf surface it may be circular pile surface may be curved or it may be a cuboid one or rectangular cross section also so total ultimate capacity qu is qf plus qp if qf value is far far more than qp then it is a frictional pile and if qp value is far far greater than qf it is the point bearing pile of course if qp and qf both are almost same that is neither point bearing and nor friction pile now this is the qu ultimate load that the pile can take of course the allowable load is qu by factor of safety and if it is not given we take it 2.5 now in this video i am only considering the single pile although for the group of piles the same thing can be done it is very simple to write qu q is summation of qp plus qf for sand the formulas are very simple qp will be what is load stress into area so stress as you can see in the figure for qp the stress you can see in the figure for pile into the area for qp area will be area base because qp is at here similarly qf is stress for sand k sigma average tan delta k del delta every value will be given sigma average is the average effective stress and what is qf load na so load is stress into area na so stress into area area of the surface if it is circular pile pi d into l if it is cuboid pile accordingly you can write the area surface similarly for clay q u is qp plus qf so qp is stress at the base that is cnc into area base of course c here has to be used of the cohesion at the base and qf for the clay is alpha that is adhesion factor into c. c c is the average cohesion along the length of the pile into area surface so simple yaar qf plus qp for both the cases so qf is load that is stress into area and similarly qf qp is load that is stress into area area you know for the base and for the surface and qf qp the stress value you have to find out the accordingly so guys always remember these formulas and the same thing can be applied for group let me tell you very simply for said it is very easy for one pile i have told you 
if there are nine piles in group or 16 piles into group for sign it is very easy taking 100% efficiency so the answer will be for the group capacity will be number of piles into single pile capacity suppose there are nine piles so nine into the capacity of one pile that we have already studied in this video for clay also i'm telling you a trick consider that whole wedge as a single pile so it's whole wedge as a single pile that cuboid and considering that whole as a single cuboid pile write qp and qf as we have done in a single pile so this is how we can find the pile capacity of course in next few weeks we'll be going to find the settlement of the pile converse formula and all other things i hope you find this video interesting Please share to all the students. Thank you. Take care.